Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to start using MDB in less than one minute. So let's get started. Navigate to mdbootstrap.com, hit get started and then click on MDB 5 download button. You can also subscribe to our newsletter so you won't miss any updates. Now navigate to your download folder and unzip the folder. So MDB 5 standard, um, I'm using 7zip, you can use any other tool and extract it to MDB 5 standard. So this is the folder you get get into the folder, open it with uh, Visual Studio Code or any other editor of your choice and you can open this in a web browser. I'm going to use Live Server for this. This is going to open you a MDB in a new window. So you are ready to start using MDB. Let's uh, navigate to documentation. So um, from the menu on the left side, uh, if you are on the main page, it's hidden, it's, it's collapsed over here. Choose some components. I'm going to use Carousel. Now navigate to Carousel Docs and then copy some example. I'm going to use um, this one with indicators. Copy code, get back to our editor and replace this piece of code here between start your project here and your project here with the code, save it and refresh our page. Now it's working perfectly fine. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to start using MDB. Um, I'm going to show you in the next video more uh, ways to start using it, including MDB CLI and what MDB CLI is. Let me show you uh, on this example. So with MDB CLI, you can de deploy your project very easily. Simply uh, type MDB publish and it's going to publish your page to a web. So I'm going to give it a name. So let's call it uh, MDB starter pack. Hit enter, accept the default values, and this will upload your page to web, your project, which is available at this address. So let's open it up. And our page is deployed with SSL included. If you want to learn more about it, check our next video. Thank you for watching and keep coding.